Oh, I tell you what. I had my patties and I soaked them in Worcestershire sauce overnight. Oh, it was good. But that doesn't stop there. Nope. Mm -mm. That's just the beginning. See, then I cook them. About six minutes on each side. Oh, not sure how big these were. They might have been quarter pound burgers a piece. Maybe third pound. Somewhere in that vicinity. But anyway. Cook them about six minutes on each side. So, you know, they get just done just enough. And, uh, top them with Colby Jack cheese. But it doesn't, just doesn't end there. No, no, no siree. It keeps going. And then I, instead of tomatoes, what I did is I, uh, actually, let me tell you what I did to the buns first. Took the buns, and one of them, I put mayo, ketchup, and mustard on. I was wondering if I'd see you again. If you're after tonics and elixirs, they're on the shelves on the back wall there. Can I sell this move? So anyway, I put ketchup, pie. mustard, and mayo on one bun, and I, you know, smushed the buns together and swirled it around so it kind of gets on both buns. And then I did a nice uh, maple barbecue on the other one. All right, so I can sell this crap. And put the burgers on the buns. And this is where it gets interesting. Instead of tomatoes, I use salsa. A little, uh, little hot salsa. That's what I used. And it was not bad. It was really good. I, I put a little onion on top of the salsa there. And I put some shredded lettuce on top of that. And then I put it all nice together barbecue. and ate it. The best one was the one with the barbecue. Oh, it was so good. Morning, the flavors clashed together so well. It was, it was worth it. I'd recommend it. I'd say try it. Officer. How are you? Good morning. Well, I'm gonna go to church. <coughs> Good morning, mister. Morning. Don't tell me I can't go to the church. <coughs> Lame. Oh yeah, try it if you can. It was just a Hannaford brand salsa uh, too, hey there, partner. but Morning. it don't, it doesn't need to be fancy salsa. It's just okay. replacing the tomatoes, really. And if you don't like if you like burgers without tomatoes, well, something wrong with you. You need you need that tomato on there, or at least maybe salsa. There. There's that you blind guy. To spare for a blind man? Oh yeah, I'll give you some money. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can spare? Oh, <laughs> thank you, sir. Uh, truly, thank you. It means a lot to me. I could steal his money. Ugh. That's just disgusting. Good morning. Oh, oh, is someone there? Alms for the blind. But enough about my burger. Even though I was silent for a moment and not talking about it. It's, uh, ooh. They should really let you in this place. See, hold on. This is the problem, Rockstar, right here. I want you to fucking think about what I'm about to say to you. You have that right there. This big sign. It says, come to this building. Look how cool and important I am. Two Chinese... La Shonkao. Chop suey and all that other stuff. Restaurant and noodles and what have you, right? Except... Oh, I'm sorry. I can't get in there. This building is not fleshed out. Why would you do that? That's a problem. You need to take the next steps in open world. Oh, and I know, I know. Some will say you have. And... Is definitely a, a huge improvement, but don't string me along. All right, don't just play with my balls a little. I want you to go at it hard, and I want you to do it properly. I get it. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's not enough memory. Maybe, maybe you didn't want to make a third disc and have another year of development time. 
But this is what I talked about before. Whoa, 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 that was an accident. Okay, I ain't looking to cause problems. Can I surrender? You don't listen, we're gonna have a real problem here. Sorry, my mistake. How do I surrender? Come on, hands in the air. Oh, I don't want trouble. I just want you to. All right, how much money am I losing? That's the bigger question. So anyway, that's what I talked about, Rockstar. You don't need like super huge open worlds that are empty areas that don't have much to interact with. You know, uh, smaller maps with open buildings would probably be better. I mean, this has a lot of open buildings. It has more than GTA Five. Certainly more that I can interact with, but it has so much limitation still. Like, those buildings tend to all be the same copy and paste. It's like if you just took all the gun stores and pasted them around, all the clothing shops and pasted them around. That's pretty much what all it is. How much money did I lose? Four dollars. Okay, that's not bad at all. I'm going to feed my horse. No one probably fed him. That was an accident too, like, I didn't mean to ride on him. I don't know what happened there. I think I was too busy complaining about something. How you doing, boy? <clears throat> but yeah, Rockstar, this game, this game's pretty solid. I like it. I play it a lot, obviously. I'm just saying things that could have been done to improve the formula even further. Hopefully GTA 6 will definitely be there. I'm sure you won't see it until PS5. Um... Would I like to see it sooner? Possibly. I mean, it has to be done right. You know, uh, a decent sized map. It doesn't have to be the biggest map in the world. Uh, but a decent sized map with interactable uh, buildings. You can just, like, pretty much, you know, just go in. If you see it, you can go into it. You know, that's that's what, how the open world game should be. That's what it should turn into. That's what I'd like to see. And I'm sure a lot of fans would like to see that. Like, just imagine police chases and shoot shootouts with the police in those games with with that going on I mean it would blow your mind you'd wet your diaper you know but enough of that I'm heading back to camp I don't think there's anything else going on Are you kidding me oh no that's the uh, reservation never mind <clears throat> I thought that was like a thing on the map that told me. Oh, I could have still went this way. Hmm. All right, I got a lot of exploring to do over here. This area, though, like you see this one, Blackwater, like so much shit to do. All right, let's ride back. Having to switch to my weapons all the time on the horse. It'd be cool if they could just be preemptively saved as the default loadout. You know, like a horse loadout. So you don't have to keep switching. Hey there. Fine morning, <clears throat> yeah, it's an alright morning. Jerks around here. They like to be around here. And... Nope. Okay. <coughs> All, right, move. All right. Looks like I'm going. I don't even need to ride anymore. I just have to put cinematic camera on, and he'll do it for me. I could have hunted that rabbit.
Okay. Yep, I'll skin it and I'll put it to my horse. Wait, what kind of pelt did I get? Poor. Of course I got a poor pelt. Why would I get anything but? How do you get perfect pelts? Like, what's the science? Let me guess. Arrows are... You know what? It's probably the Varmint rifle. Probably has a small bullet hole. Like, arrows probably destroy pelts because they go in. But when you take them out, they probably, like, rip it. Mmm. Another bullet caliper is maybe too high. Well, I've gotten decent pelts with the bow before. Even perfect pelts. Out of the damn way. There it is. Okay there. Hey there, partner. You interested in a little friendly competition? You a shooting man? I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet. Oh. What'd you say? Why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. Hey, clear the range. Let's not get funny, all right? Come on now, boy. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon to name, we let fly. Ready when you are. Shit, I didn't see that one. Did I win him? Maybe you were just outgunned. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? You're on. Well, that's what. Right, well, I'm gonna drink some snake oil. I'd like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules? Simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stand close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. What? Wait for it. There they go now. Shoot! <laughs> That's how I should have done the shooting shot, challenge <laughs> with the other guy. Here you go, as promised. Yep. Give me that. Thanks, friend. Careful now. They made Next up all the money I, I lost before. Back. What? They made up the fifty cents I lost. That made up the four dollars in my. Um, Bounty fees. Well, now I know how to go bird hunting. So about three to four people will give you a plus on your karma. Now come on. I'm gonna do Mary O'Shea first, and then I'll do Abigail. She's probably gonna tell me John's gone again, but this time with Jack. 
and she wants me to buy them or something like that. So maybe it had to do with the fishing trip. Maybe John wanted to uh, prove that, you know, he's not a deadbeat and he can take after the boy after all. That's, that's what I believe. Especially it involves, like, if John is gone, you know. Like, that's what I think it's going to be. I won't know until I get to the camp. If I see John there or Jack there, I'll know I'm wrong. But if I uh, if I don't see them there, then that's that's what I'm gonna be believe. I cannot believe I lost my rabbit, man. I could put it back on my horse, actually, now that I think about it. I might as well just do that. Teenage treasure maps that lead to new treasure chests. Keep an eye for treasure hunters in the wilderness and treasure maps for sale. Wait, people sell treasure maps? Did I loot a treasure map? Is that what happened? These guys were fucking stupid. Like, oh, we're gonna get you. Eh, that's what everyone says, and then they die. Like, I just, I literally just murder all the opposition. Unless I could sweet talk him first and not have to murder. Then I do that. But if they start off angry, I mean, I gotta start off a murder. Well, I should say start off with violence. If they start off with violence, I have to start off with murder. Yep. All right, I can head back to camp now. Have my bow out. The animals. I got it. It's done. It'll get off. It, it won't make it. Yep. See? Look at that. That's a good deer pelt. Did I miss the road for the camp, by the way? I must have. Nope, I did not. Okay. Or no, I did. I, I passed it. To their own, my friend. You see, I have dead animals. Don't tell me to wash that blood off. Hey, mister. You better wash that blood off before people realize you're hunting. Duh. It's not like I picked up the other dead guys. I, I you know, I blew their brains out and their lungs out and stuff. Nope, I didn't pick them up. I may have rustled their pockets a bit.
my horse over here. Who's that? It's me, Arthur. Good hey, to see Arthur. you back in one piece. Arthur, can we have a quick word? I'll be with you, Mary. Oh, there's so many horses. Down when you get a chance, would you? Shut up. <laughs> really, Sean? There's Mother Horse, yeah. Good morning, Arthur. Looking good, Bill. Wait a minute, what was that photo? Jose and Bessie, huh? Is Bessie a horse or oh no, what's his wife? Oh well, that's young Hosea, huh? That is cool. I should say. Jose and Bessie might be September eighteen eighty three. Wow. Sixteen years ago. What's this newspaper clipping? Imperialists of London, June 1889, former Union Raider killed in gun battle. Oh, I don't care about that. Alright, where's, uh, Mr. What's-His-Face? The big man! Shut up! Oh. What's the sheriff's costume all about? Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I will. Okay, let's take a look. This will help the stoop. There you go. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Crafting upgrades. This can't have. do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? Oh, no, no, no. Arthur's lodging. Chuck wagon. Thanks, Mr. Pearson. All right, let me put some money in the. Oh no, there's Abigail. She's walking around. She's looking for me. No, Ab. Oh shit. No. Hey, Arthur. No. On? You fucking bitch. Jose and John are looking. No. For they went out to the moonshine stash. Said okay, is that all you that wanted? Was. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so okay. Hosea right. cool. wants cool. you to cool. join him instead. Seems right. to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm gonna do Miss O'Shea's thing, though, so. Screw you. Wait, where's the stew? Did they say it wasn't ready? Hey, you see Mike could put any money in the box? No, I don't think so. I don't know where the stew is. Shit. <clears throat> Hold on, it's getting cold in here. Good morning, lady. Well, am I the only one who can do chores around here?
good for now. All right, where is she? Good day. Hello. Hey, come here, kid. What? Why? Don't you disrespect me, boy? I did it. Damn, Bill. You know I don't like your attitude. <laughs> well, okay then. Damn right it's okay. <laughs> Get along no, good. Man. Half shut. What the hell was that? The kid's got no respect. It's you lacking respect, as far as I can see. Mr. Strack? Anyway, I won't disturb you. You kidding me? Is Lenny still back there? Lenny. Oh shit. No, why is he so much faster than me? How are you? He's like Jason Voorhees. He's just going. Look at him, dude. He's just on Camp Crystal Lake. He's stalking counselors and I can't catch him. So he never stopped wandering. Fuck. You okay, Lenny? I'm fine. Just ignore that son of a bitch. Or just fight him. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yo. Okay. Hey there. Morning. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Okay, just making show. Sure thing. <laughs> just making show. <laughs> I don't know how to speak in full sentences or words. So, you gonna let him keep it? The boy needs something. After all he's been through. Sure. Well, I should get back to it. Whatever you say. That's showing now. I'm good. Ah, uh, there he is. England's finest. <laughs> don't irritate me, boy. The truth horse, don't it? Who the fuck is that behind there? Good day, dear. Morning, Arthur. You got a guilty look. What are you talking about? You're up to something. All right then, cowpoke. Wait, when did we get a dog? Mr. Bailey. When the fuck did we get a dog? Hello, boy. All right. Well, we have one now. Nothing I can do. Likes me because I'm a good guy. You joining us here, Arthur? Morning. You all right there? Yeah. I think so. What are we gonna do with you? Right. You okay? Yeah. Hello. Hey, Abigail. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. God, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, we all need a break. All right then, Arthur. All right. Arthur. Look at all the chickens we got. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? I am going there for you, lady. I want to say hi. <clears throat> oh, yeah. What's up? What are you doing? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know, but if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. A great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour <coughs> face. If you say so, you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What 
are you talking about? Arthur's above a little <coughs> stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Yeah, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us, well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Now, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll <laughs> I only hardly take a small you. commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church before yeah, I've been to that it connects church. with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on then, you miserable bastards! Hey! How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <coughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson, that's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. Sakes. They should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Bear! Nobody you see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Shit. Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, uh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Shit. Yeah! Get back here! 
you have to, can't you? Just shut up, Williamson. Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. Fly low here. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick! Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Does anyone live in this house? All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? Uh, uh, I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I... I tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the... the barn. Are we going to do something about this, or are we just going to hang out here and wait for them to find us? Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. <laughs> Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty. Shit. Who the fuck is that? Give him hell, boys. You won't make it out alive. More on the right here. Watch it, Charles. The fuck, Charles? Piece of shit. We got more. Normally, you're gonna be Charles. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, what the fuck? I didn't even get to do anything. I like ran up there and Charles is dead. Why isn't he taking cover? Why is he standing out in the open? Why is he being retarded? Give him hell, boys! The first man I feel. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone and up this security. More on the right here! Get the hell in cover! I'm gonna watch this one! We got more of the bastards on this side! That is your last goddamn roundup! Out of the way! Out of the way, Bill! This fella really don't like getting raw! Let's just hope we don't run out! I should be good. I have boxing balls. They teach you that move. Two, can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? You got us into this. God damn it, you're coming in this way now. You gotta shoot that way. I'll protect this way. How about we? 
we stop robbing Cornwall for a while? I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right? I don't see these people. You guys seriously just terrible? That will distract me. What the fuck? Request for the Undertaker? Why can't I?
dude like armored? The fuck? We all still alive. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Glonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Glonk. Run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Fuck. Dude, only had 52 cents, are you fucking kidding me? Well, I don't even care, man. guy's house. This house is getting robbed now. Actually, that's probably it right there. I'm probably heading the wrong way. Shit. Hosea. Lenny. Alright, well, I'll go speak with Lenny. Oh, this thing's gonna fall over. Dark fast. Come on. Hey, there's a little fire over here. Let me see what's happening. Is in your day, is it? 
Don't do nothing. Yeah, 51 cents, mister. And a chest. I need assistance. Help! I need some help. I can't loot that. You kidding me? Pointless robbing this guy. Oh my lord. Nice meeting you. Indeed. So if the camp gets their split, how come it never raises? We are gonna be fine. I mean, sure, I know things don't seem fine right now, but I've got a feeling that they are going to be fine. There's nothing to worry about. I'm gonna call it a day. Believe in old Bill here. Cause old Bill believes in Dutch. You know, it's how a fella responds in a moment of crisis to show you who he really is. All right, let me see. I, I know you are as sure as the sun rises. Hello, Arthur. That's crazy. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here. Who think mm. they war ain't never ended? The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still there. raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that? Maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. Let's go rob them. Time to 
go, boy. Come on. It's this way. On me. Cha. Oh. Yeah. Hello, lady. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them that I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Mm. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see a... Riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west? It's out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold still shiny. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Morgan. Barracker coma's coming. It's coming. It's gonna put me in a coma. Oh. Just make me sleep. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house. Down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. I've been there. If, like you Last say, night, these actually. are sitting on weapons. We're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. But where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. See, I thought they looked like Civil War. Look at this field. Pictures. <laughs> Imagine <coughs> getting mentioned that last night. Fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. There's got to be some of this church. Once cleared them out, so the game recognizes that. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. I already uh, cleaned it. It doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Is that a bear? Yeah, that's a boar. Look there. A wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just mm -hmm. two fellers out on the road. Hey, that looked like dynamite in the back there? It <coughs> looks like we're on to something. I thought we were hanging back. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. 
might know this place. I've been there Old too. Boys here real tough. I murdered them all. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bell. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. You bring your sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in. Yeah, I got my sharpshooter. Commission's good. Dude, I've, I've already been on this wall. Or, well, kind of. See anything? No. Yes. Yes. They're here, all right. And they're armed. Almost a militia. Down by the road. We do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? Ah, uh, dude, they can work out for him. Yeah, they can work out for him. Just them into one spot. <coughs> and I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. I'm not gonna. So? We're gonna hit them head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. Soon as you shoot, I'll go. So, you gonna make a move? Prepare for your guns and your money. What the fuck? I'm terrible at this game. I was here last night though, so I'm not too worried about this spot. Unless my partner gets killed. Is he an idiot? Oh my god. Why can't I kill this one guy? You see that? Thank you!
try and get as many as possible before I head up there. What the fuck? You moron. <sighs> Fucking moron. I can't believe how much of a moron he is. So? What do we do? We're gonna hit him head on. You save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. As soon as you shoot, I'll go. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? There. Oh, yeah. 
course I'm gonna search the this fucking house. Search it. Would he find a fucking horse carriage? Search it. Can we'll check the rest later? Now, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep, idiot. I should have looted all the bodies. We need to get these back. Oh, I will. some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. Our business was conducted to the satisfaction of all... like this. Sean's a loud mouth brag. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. I guess my better judgment. Just you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But enough but nothing. Me and Dutch and everyone who counts. We know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. My horse is Mohawk. <laughs> Yo, horse, what up? Keep one, just from me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> <clears throat> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Bolt action rifle. All right, want to look at the bolt action rifle. No, I don't want to look at that. I'm still comp Where am I? Oh, I'm at the edge again. He's by this law, man. Look. Hi, Mary Beth. Oh. Hello, 
good, sir. Time to save the game. Okay, that's enough for me. You want to sit, Arthur? Hey, folks. Why don't you ah. just sit down instead of milling about the place? Wyatt, you're all leaving now that I'm sitting? Hello, Arthur. Lenny and I raided a big old house in the swamps. Stole some guns. Good work. Alright, save the game. Log off because it's dinner time. Might be on later tonight. You know, around 11 o'clock midnight. So if you want to peep me out. Let's hop back on around then. But uh, thanks for joining me. And have a good rest of the day.